Hi everyone, Idaho Amy here, and I want to show you my latest project using um, Graphic 45's Ladies Diary. And um, this was a cupboard that I found at my local thrift store. And um, if you follow me on Facebook, um, I posted pictures of what it looked like um, at the beginning before I started doing anything to it. And it had the Disney princesses on it and um, had some child's artwork on it. And, uh, but it was a, such a beautiful box, um, and it's so heavy. Um, this is going to have to ship, um, the, in the large flat rate box, because it's so big, and also because it's so heavy. Um, it's a very heavy piece. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I still have a cold. And, um, so I'll just go ahead and get started showing you what I did with it. Um... I covered up the Disney princesses with the polka dot paper, which is my favorite um, of this collection. And um, I painted the knobs. Um, they were hot pink, and I painted them black, as well as the bottom part here and the top. I painted black as well. Um, I just added paper over top of this drawer, and it was hot pink. And uh, so I just covered it up. I left the white part that um, is the original paint of the box, um, and I only painted the um, hot pink parts black uh, because the hot pink did not go well with the Lady's Diary because um, they're more of a pastel collection. These are the Tim Holtz um, Sizzix punches, and I just cut them out in black cardstock, and then I um, stickled them. So they sparkle a little bit. <clears throat> Sorry. I don't know if you can tell by the, f the video. Um, and then I fussy cut all these little flowers out and stuck them on top of the, um, the dies. <clears throat> and then this is just a piece of the collection that I stuck on the bottom. And I added the paper all the way around the side and the back. So it's decorated all the way. And I, um, when I painted it, I painted the entire bottom, so the bottom looks nice, too. <clears throat> so, first of all, <coughs> I'm sorry, I still have a horrible cold, and I'm trying to get over it. Um, you open up the doors, and hopefully I'm centered here, so you can see it. And I added, um, some of the paper on the back side, to both sides, and um, I just picked this newsprint because it looked really um, rustic and old, and I liked that. And um, then I just went ahead and altered the drawers. Um, this one doesn't come out, but the rest of these ones do, so I'll show you. I just added paper. I left it pretty plain. Um, I only added paper to the fronts and the back, or the inside. And then this one comes out. I like that, too. So... I'm not sure why, but this one doesn't come out. It comes out, but not all the way out. <clears throat> and then there was a strange screw um, poking down from the top. And I didn't like how it stuck down. I'm not sure what used to be on it, hanging off of it. But um, I covered it up with a um, vintage cork. And um, covered the cork in Ladies Diary paper. And then I added a little... Um, half back, oh, I'm not sure what you call them, they're these things, I got them a long time ago, and they're just like half pearl things, but they're plastic and they're clear, and I just glued one of those up there to make it look like a light bulb, and I added this little mini in here, um, Graphic 45 is doing a place in time, uh, challenge for the month of January and so this was my submission for that was this itty bitty mini it's three by three and a half and um, I just decorated the front with little um, leftover pieces of the collection after I made my um, calendar added some flowers and some buttons and um, a little saying here and so this has all the months in it and it there's no dates on it so it could be for any year so it just goes January, February. Um, I used all of the place and time papers, but I did use a little bit of Lady's Diary in there too to keep it 
to go with the whole thing. So, but this um, album has other colors in it besides the Lady's Diary. I just added some little things and dimension here, and here's a zipper um, that I had in my stash, and just some little fussy cut um, butterflies and a clip up here. And then here is another zipper, um, as well as some little strips here from the collection, October. And I didn't decorate too much in this album, um, popped out that off a little bit, um, just because um, the little calendars took up almost the whole page, so I didn't have a lot of room to decorate. And then the back looks like that, so that's this itty bitty mini, it's nice and chunky, looks really cute. And I just stick that in here um, for a place for it to go. And then in the drawer down here, I also placed a mini. And I'm going to sell this on eBay as soon as I have time to get it up. I've just been so sick lately. I haven't been able to get much done. But um, this one is, oh, I can't remember. It's like seven by three and a half um, is the size of this album. And uh, so I just used some um, Graphic 45 keys. These are some little jewels that I got. Um, we do swaps in my group. Um, and uh, these came in, in the blue one. So went really well with this. Just added a few little ribbons on the end. Some flowers I got from Karen. And um, some chipboard pieces. And this is actually one of my um, my very last... Um, of these drawer pulls. I love these. Um, they're made by Graphic 45 as well. And this is a, um, made with chipboard and I just cut the chipboard to the size I wanted and then painted it black and then covered it in paper. So really simple way to make albums. Here's this one and it's got a little tag in there and a place for photo. <clears throat> and then this one I just decorated it up and then put a place for a photo. And then this one here has some ribbon, and it opens up. So this opens up, and you can put photos in there. And then this is a pocket as well over here, so you can add more things in there. And then this side, um, I just fussy cut one of the little ladies out and some flowers, and stuck a tag in there. And you can add photos and whatever you want in there as well. And then this one is just a place for photo. And then this one as well. There's a piece of the chipboard from the collection. And this one's another spot for photo. Some little scrap pieces that I had left over. And then this one right here is just a little pocket. I really love this strip right here with the um, wording on it. And so I wanted to add that. So this is just a place for a journal tag or more photos. And then the back looks like that. <clears throat> anyway, I hope you guys like this project. I know it's been forever since I got one done. I've just been so busy and I just haven't had time to get things done. Um, I've been so sick and um, I've actually been sleeping for about five days. So this is the first um, day that I have actually gotten up and around to do stuff. So hopefully my um, cold is going away and um, I'll feel better soon. But hopefully I'll have some more projects for you. I've got some more started and um, hopefully I can get those finished up in the next couple days. So thank you guys for your patience and waiting for my next video and hope you guys like this project and uh, I hope whoever um, wins it on eBay enjoys it. Um, it was a lot of fun to create, and um, uh, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.